Hey everyone, I just want to do another quick video um, of some flashing cutting. This is a Smart Doll male slim bust and the um, slim arms that go along with it. Um, I have my handy X-Acto knife. Again, be careful. They're very sharp. Um, if you're not comfortable with handling these, then please have somebody help you. Um, this, actually there's going to be like four things, well five things I need to cut. So the base around underneath the chest, the at the wrist parts, and then actually also right here um, at the shoulder joint. That one might be a little difficult, um, but I'll try like maybe one of each of these and then I'll do the chest. So <laughs> let me put this one off to the side first and uh, We'll see if we can do this um, chest piece pretty easily. Um, and I have Fuji over here kind of keeping an eye out because we've been hanging out today. She came with me uh, and my kiddo to the park. So she's just kind of out and about with us. So this, the chest piece as compared to like the... Um, Head caps because the heads are actually a little bit more firm. I'm sure it's just the same kind of vinyl going on, but like they're just firmer. Maybe it's because they're the head caps are a little bit thicker to be able to manage like keeping a wig on and eyes in place or whatever. So this vinyl is pretty flexible on the chest, so it's something you have to be even more careful with. Um, just because um, you may be cutting along pretty decently and then it just Kind of flexes and either you'll cut the wrong spot or you'll cut yourself so you got to be careful and also there is like more notches in the flashing like on the head caps there's um just like that one like notch at the um back of the head and this one the bust here has one two three four so two at the front and two at the back of these notches so it's like you have to be careful about cutting through those as well and once again I kind of kept this bust out in my car I work overnights and so I get home and I just left it out in my car until just now so it's actually been in my car for several hours um, so it was very warm out today although it's really cool now but um, it certainly made the vinyl very pliable so, let's see. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go back and um, do a little bit more precision cutting here. Because this is very flexible. And just for the sake of getting through this on the video, so you guys can see. Um, I'm kind of going a little fast, but I can always go back and touch up where I feel like I need to get some cuts better. So, there's the flashing from the bottom of the bust and there it is again just like all the other pieces there's kind of like a ridge so it's like you really can't mess up the exterior part like the part that shows on the doll um but I do think I actually gave it a tiny little nick at the back um and this too so you can see they can get the light there there's like the inner ring it's not like I didn't perfectly cut it so it's not perfectly flush all along on the inside um, but because it's the bust piece and really all it has to hold is the inner skeleton it doesn't need to be perfect and plus when you look at it from the front you can't see that like inner flashing ring and it's the same from the back too I didn't cut it perfectly but you can't tell when you're just looking at the doll straight on like the only way you'd ever be able to notice it I guess is if you took a picture of like the doll this way and like you had the kind of like, I don't know, arching a back or something, or bending over maybe, and you might just get a glimpse. But see here, I don't know if I can get it, um, but just like right there, there's like the tiniest little nick I kind of cut too quickly. So that I do actually kind of made the littlest nick on the exterior view of it, but it's so tiny. And, you know, with clothes on, who cares, right? Sorry, I'm not like really in the video here. I was trying to get a close-up of um, my hands and working on this, so... Let's try one of the arms here. Um, so this chest, you can see it's like super squishy. 
um, the arms are a little bit more firm and it's a smaller thing to cut. So um, I don't know if because it's more firm, it'll be easier to cut or if it'll be more difficult. Once again, there is kind of a guideline. Just be careful because this is a smaller piece. So you can't like have your knife going all the way deeply through because you might cut all the way through to the other side and poke a hole somewhere you don't want a hole to be. Um, it's pretty okay so far. I don't know, this is like a really small groove and I actually think I didn't do a very good cut on this because it's like more of just a line instead of an indentation. Um, so this one, like the wrist cuts, you might have to be really careful about. And so here's the, the piece off of there, and I don't, it's hard to look at because it doesn't really focus that well, this close-up, but it's okay. I don't think I followed it perfectly, and I'm probably going to have to go through and smooth off these edges um, just a little bit. Um, but you can see there, there's like a little little tiny bump out. I'll have to smooth that off. But now let's see this tricky part. I probably should actually really warm this up, but still, even though it's a firmer piece of vinyl, it's still squish squishable. So hopefully it'll be okay. Let's see if I can follow this pretty well because this part, um, while also being very small, is something that could be more readily visible on your doll. If you have, you know, for a boy's sake, if you have him like in a tank top, or shirtless or whatever the case may be um, this joint section could be visible so this is one you would definitely want to be as careful as you can be and probably better to err on the side of going too far in and cutting some you know making a cut into the piece that you plan to get rid of versus um, cutting like into the arm or the shoulder socket. It's something you have to be really careful. I'm like spot on precision cutting with. Man, more power to the people who got the um, like the boy kits. I don't know if you had to do any cutting of flash, of flash but Ooh, I know a lot of people did get these busts um, either as part of chaos or okay so I got like one whole side of it cut and now the other side is being a lot more flexible um, because it's not like a solid piece anymore so it's got to be even more carefully cut and I kind of started in the middle on this side so let's see if I can get to this point that I started at all right so I cut it away, should be able to just pull it away, and there it is, it looks okay. It's probably not perfectly flush straight on, again, it, you know, depending on what you have your guy in, maybe they won't, this won't be that visible, but this is definitely more of a visible thing as far as like um, tank tops and that sort of thing, but even still, I mean, it's just there, really. Not, you're not necessarily going to see that whole intersection. Just depending on how. Hi, Daddy. So there we go. That's oh. and this uh, does need to have a whole neck neck hole <laughs> drilled. I I I wouldn't try to cut it. Um, I think I'm going to actually use um, a little uh, like drill gun and just find like. I'll compare like neck holes of full set dolls that I have, like Fuji here, and um, see if I can get the right drill bit and then just do a quick jab in basically. Um, and then the same for the arms too, because um, the arm sockets are actually pretty big and there's no there's no line there to, to delineate where you would need to cut. So um, I guess I would have to make a comparison um, maybe with the with my full set um, of uh, Gen Genesis, the boy. Um, he has the macho bust on, but I can look and compare and see exactly where I need to cut in here. So I'm not gonna make the cut on this one, because again, there's no real guideline. Um, 
but this was not bad otherwise. So anybody who is, has this and is still worried about it, you know, it's not necessarily a highly visible part unless you plan on having your doll half naked or whatever, but um, definitely um, get the vinyl warm or warmed up. It's very flexible and very soft, um, but sometimes it gets so soft that it's like you're just cutting through and you don't even realize you're no longer in the tiny little line. So be careful, take your time, don't rush. And uh, if you don't have a steady hand or you're uncomfortable with you know, sharp knives, again, just ask somebody to give you a hand. But I hope these videos continue to help anybody who has um, smart doll pieces out there that you know need to have a little bit of preparation before they can be used. So thanks for watching. Have a great dolly day, everyone.